Good afternoon, I'm Katrin Asaf. Thanks for joining us for Arkansas Today. Signatures are due in the Secretary of State's office by 5 p.m. today in the effort to get the Arkansas Learns Act referendum on the November 2024 ballot. The clock is ticking for the Citizens for Arkansas Public Education and Students, or CAPES. They've been gathering signatures for several weeks now and met on the steps of the Capitol this morning to give an update on where they're at. That's where we find our Caroline Derby. She's joining us from the Capitol. Caroline, what are you seeing down there right now? Katrin, volunteers for CAPES are outside the Capitol right now making their final effort to get those petition signatures. I want to step out so you can see one of the locations outside of the Capitol. This is near 4th Street. Last night, CAPES said they were very confident they would have enough signatures to put this on the November 2024 ballot. Now they're saying they're short. The Learns Act is an education plan passed in the legislature earlier this year that has become controversial in the state. CAPES had their final scheduled signing events yesterday, and today they're trying to get the remaining signatures. CAPE says they will need more than 55,000 signatures and 3% of those from 50 counties in Arkansas. Volunteers will be spread out around the capital city collecting signatures. Steve Grapp, executive director of CAPE, says they have around 49,000 right now and are making their final push to get the remaining amount. Now I've got people telling me all over the states that they're getting signatures as we speak. They're hitting all of their neighborhoods and then they're going to be bringing those in. Dresses, not addresses, if, um, dates were out of line. Grapp says he doesn't know the exact number of signatures on the petitions they're waiting for. He just knows they need as many as possible. I contacted the Secretary of State's office and they said CAPES must have 54,422 signatures and 75% of those signatures must be valid to qualify for a cure period. Now a cure period would extend the amount of time that CAPES has to meet the criteria to put the referendum on the ballot. Now this is a developing story and we will continue to keep you updated on air and online throughout the day. Reporting in Little Rock, I'm Caroline Derby, KRK 4 News. All right, Caroline, thank you for keeping us updated there.